dust off your old waffle iron or maybe you need a new one waffle makers aren't just for breakfast anymore seems they are very cool kitchen cooking tools nowadays people are using these things for everything from breakfast to burgers 12 on your sides marilyn moore it shows us which ones worked best in the waffle test 12 year old evan is making brownies and get this a waffle maker i think it cooks them better because it has the indents and also, they're just more fun to eat, I think. <laughs> Seems waffle makers are hot. Home cooks are waffling everything now, from hash browns to grilled cheese to puff pastry. To help you get in on the trend, Consumer Reports tested eight waffle makers for how well they turn out perfectly browned waffles and for how clear the controls are. Some of the things we flag are uneven browning at the top or bottom of the waffles, narrow crevices on the grid that might be hard to clean, or handles that get really hot to the touch. So here are three they recommend. On the high end, there's the Breville Smart Four Slicer. It's $250. It has several browning settings. It's easy to use and beeps when your waffle is done. This Calphalon only cooks two at a time, but it's less than half the price. It did a good job browning, has a countdown timer, and can turn on its side for storage. If you're on a budget, Consumer Reports named this Chefman a Best Buy. It's $30. It cooks one waffle at a time. The handle does get hot, so you have to use a mitt. It also stores easily. All three waffle makers have moats to catch drips. By the way, experts say the key to great waffles or brownies is to preheat. They're really good. Marilyn Moritz, KSET 12 News.